With this hot weather we're having, first responders say comes a greater risk for trouble on the water. And they've seen that risk recently play out firsthand. And Fox 12's Adrian Thomas met up with one Portland fire crew member uh, that responds to water-related emergencies. He's live in southeast Portland with how you can be safe while you try to cool off. Adrian? Yeah, Pete and Bonnie, we're here at Selwood Riverfront Park, a popular spot here in Portland for Portlanders to launch their paddle boards or kayaks. But state officials say because of the hot temperatures, they're concerned that there could be a rise in drownings or boating accidents because so many people are out on our waterways. On our waterways. For one Portland fire crew, this time of year is unfortunately a busy one. Uh, starting to break right there. The fireboat crew at Station 21 tells us each week they average one call per day during the summer. Most of those calls coming in weekends when the banks of the Columbia and Willamette are full of people. There's an example of a paddle boarder. Yeah. One has a life jacket on, it looks like one doesn't. Harbor Master Sean Whalen is in charge of the Portland fireboat crews. He says simple ways people can stay safe are to wear well fitting Coast Guard rated life jackets regardless of swimming ability and to keep tabs on the conditions of your favorite river or lake. Know the water temperature, know what the weather is going to be, know the basic conditions of where you're going. But also realize that if it's a place you go to all the time, especially with the river, that changes every, not only every year, certainly every year, but even day to day. Wayland also says adults should limit the amount of alcohol they drink while enjoying a day on their boat, paddleboard, or kayak. He says it's crucial to take the proper steps to prevent tragedies at some of Portland's most popular river destinations. Thanks, buddy. We met Barry Epstein at the Selwood Riverfront Park boat launch. He's a seasoned kayaker, but says even he always wears a life jacket and puts one on his pup when out on the river. Water is wonderful, but water can also be very dangerous. So I think prudence is important. No one should consider themselves invincible. Now, the Oregon State Marine Board has reported a steady increase in boating related deaths in the last several years, and the Oregon Health Authority has reported a similar trend among accidental drownings, all because of what they say is possible um, heat driving people out again to our local waterways. They say this trend could be reversed if more people would simply wear their life jackets. Live in Southeast Portland, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon. All right.